Howdy folks and a great big welcome to each and every one of you. The tune that I just played is called John Cooper's Tune and I have no idea and can't find where it came from or when but it's a nice tune. I learned it from the playing of a old time group called the Bucking Mules but they put in a crooked part in the B part of the tune they play it crooked and for some reason that I'm not nuts about that crooked part so I, I straightened it out but that's okay hope you enjoyed the tune what I'd like to do now is a little Bible reading so for those of you folks who are not interested in and do not want to hear a Bible reading you can end the video now. I'll say adios. See you next time. For those of you who are hanging on and going back to a topic that I talked about before a bit. Uh, and that's uh, conflict. Conflict within ourselves. Paul talked about it in Romans chapter 7. When I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being I delight in God's law, but I see another law work in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin. Yeah. He says, uh, It is no longer I myself who do it, but it is the sin living in me. I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. And then, uh, in another spot, in uh, Galatians, Galatians chapter 5, Paul says, uh, The sinful nature desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit, what is contrary to the sinful nature. They are in conflict with each other so that you do you do not do what you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Um, so he talks about this conflict. And I was thinking the other day, uh, have you ever... Uh, talk to a person who is not a follower of Christ and have they ever said that uh, they feel conflicted about doing something? Uh, f for example, uh, nobody has ever said, well, I know I shouldn't be doing uh, this and that, but I do it anyway. Yeah, I know it's bad, but I Continue. You, you never hear them saying that. Uh, and the conflict that I experience is uh, sometimes I'll get invited out to, uh, to do something that I know is wrong or to go to a place where I know there's going to be uh, no good stuff going on. And I want to go because... Because uh, it's my friends. Yeah, my friends want to take me there. But I know that if I end up going there, I'm going to get into trouble. So I feel conflicted in myself. And it hit me the other day that that conflict is a sign that you are a follower of Jesus and that the Holy Spirit is working in you because if the Holy Spirit wasn't working in you you would have no problem with uh, going and doing all sorts of sinful things so that's a good thing having that conflict um, and people think that uh, the instant you become a follower of Jesus that uh, Every, you you ascend to this place of total holiness and all the sin disappears. No, no. The Holy Spirit 
comes into your heart and mind and he teaches you and prompts you and warns you against temptation coming up but the the conflict is you conquer it by day by day you don't conquer it all instantly it's a a day at a time and a step at a time we're working towards towards uh, becoming better and it speaks about that in Colossians uh, Paul is talking put to death therefore whatever belongs to your earthly nature because of these the wrath of God is coming you used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived but now you must rid yourself of all such things as these anger rage malice slander filthy language from your lips do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator so it's being renewed step by step it doesn't all happen at once anyway hope you uh enjoyed the few little readings from romans and galatians and colossians hope you enjoyed uh, the tune and now comes the time for me to say uh, god bless and we'll see you down the road